Hey, how's it going guys? Johnson here, Heather's assistant. So I'm going to show you how I shot the time lapse that you just watched. The phone that we use, right? That's an iPhone 7. You can get a better one because this one exports the time lapses out at 1080p, which is a problem for me because I want 4K time lapses. Um, and that's why I use the second piece of hardware which is the a7 III. So the a7 III can shoot 4K in 30, but actually that's not what we're shooting. That's for a hyperlapse. Um, the 4K uh, video is, is great if you wanted to, to do that with the a7 III. Um, but it also has internal interval shooting. I got that wrong a couple times. So it's internal interval shooting, which is time-lapse capabilities within the camera itself, which is pretty cool. Um, and so that's how I got those really nice up-close shots with a macro lens that you might want to invest into. I used a 100 millimeter macro lens. And last but not least, the editing process. I exported all of it to Google Drive from the phone. Then I downloaded it to my PC. As for the camera, DSLR, you can um, plug it into your computer using a card reader, or if your computer or laptop already has one, you can just go ahead and plug your card in and save it to whatever folder that you have for your time lapse. Um, and then I would imagine that your probably um, knowledgeable of what video editing software is to use. I personally use Adobe Premiere. That's my uh, video editing software of choice. So that's still shooting. Um, it's quite a process. I think it's super fun. And I, I really hope that you enjoy the time lapse and that this video maybe inspires you to do your own. Yep, so I'll see you guys next time. Later.